frustrating one yesterday, obviously, for you guys. Yeah, it was. Um, super frustrating in the end, I think, to outperform um, and outplay him for, what was it, uh, 17 overs, I think. Uh, yeah, disappointing result in the end, but um, nice that we, we had most of the game in our control, so um, that's positive going forward. <laughs> I'm always one to check the forecast going forward, so um, yeah, looks pretty dry, so hopefully 40 overs. Must be happy, pretty happy with your form at the minute though? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, T20 is that kind of game that um, can be quite fickle, so you just kind of roll with it, but um, it's nice to be contributing in some way, w w whether it be wickets or just keeping runs down, but um, yeah, it's a really nice bowling group at the moment, everyone seems to be ticking along well when Mitch stepped out for a game, Billy come in and, and did well, and I'm sure there'll be a few more opportunities going forward for the for the other two. As a um, danger man for them, how do you plan on getting him out? That's a good question. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not 100% certain how to get him out. We have team meetings and all that kind of stuff, but um, hopefully Mitchell Stark swing, swing one in early. Uh, that'll be the plan going forward, but he looks a really settled um, and dangerous player, so hopefully we can just keep him in check. All you guys have been talking about a, a better balance towards the 2020 side of you. What's, what's changed selection-wise that you've noticed? Uh, well, I've noticed well, myself from getting picked. That's all I kind of read into it. So you're asking the wrong bloke. But I think there's roles always um, allocated in, in T20 cricket. And I think everyone in the bowling group especially knows their role. So that, that just makes the job so much easier. And uh, Finchie's been really good on the field to, to just keep communicating throughout, throughout the game. But um, I think at the moment we're taking wickets early and... Um, that's taking the pressure off us um, towards the back end of the inning, so um, hopefully we can do that two more times. You, you guys just look like you're a happier camp at the moment, and, and again, that's just, I guess, because you're winning, because you're playing well. Yeah, well, that definitely helps. I think we've mentioned that, that winning always helps um, the feeling in the change room, but yeah, I think everyone's just having fun. Um, it's nice to be back in Australia playing cricket. A few of those boys have been away for a long time, so it's nice to be at home playing in front of you know home fans. And even yesterday, the atmosphere of the SCG was amazing. So I think everyone's just having a good time and, and winning helps that. What are you expecting from playing for Oval? Uh, well, runs, lots of runs. <laughs> I think from experience, past experience has always been flat. It uh, doesn't really do a whole lot. So hopefully a dry night and then just some good cricket to be played. But um, yeah, back, back us in to get the win. Certainly helps when you've got blokes like David Warner in form at the top, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. He's super, super player. He had a quiet night um, last night because he only faced four balls. But um, yeah, I think the confidence those two have at the start, start of the innings, um, getting us off to a good start, um, and then Mr. Fix it at three if something goes wrong in Smithy. So, um, like I say, bowling group has confidence. I think the batting group does as well. And um, some of the guys in the middle order are just desperate for a hit. Obviously, first game washed out. How important does that make this one trying to wrap up this series? Yeah, well, it's got best of two, so um, it'd be nice tomorrow night to win and take the pressure off the last game. But, um, yeah, can't control last night. So moving forward, it's about winning the next two games. And I think everyone's got their mindset on that, regardless of, of getting that number one ranking that um, could have been there if we got the win last night. Are you channeling your, I guess, efforts and form towards the World Cup next year? Uh, not really. I, I know a lot can change in a year. I think I've, I learnt that um, in the 50 over World Cup, just gone getting called up about two days before the team left. So, um, yeah, it's just about, for me, it's just about trying to perform every single time I get an opportunity to take the field. And I feel like I'm almost playing for, you know, a job going forward because there's so many good bowlers around. So um, I would never look too far ahead. Have you changed anything about your game in the last year or so? Or? Uh, no, not really. It's just developing some slow balls and just trying to work on execution as a as a fast bowler, that's what you live and die on, especially towards the back end uh, of the innings and in the power play. So it's always trying to get better and learn from guys who do that well. But um, I don't think I'm doing anything too mind blowing from what I used to do. Have What's it? Up, up, sorry, Sam, have you been able to pick up much from, from Stark and Cummins and those, those guys coming back? Yeah, I'll, I'll, we always talk to each other during the game about what's working, but I'd be foolish to ask Starky what he does well because I don't think I could do what Starky does. So I think Cummins the one. Um, you know, similar kind of bowlers in terms of the length we bowl and what we're trying to execute. But once again, he's, he's a class above. So it's just nice to see what they're thinking and, and try and emulate that where I can. What's it mean for you to have a consistent, stable group of fast bowlers across the two series? Uh, well, it's, as I said earlier, it's the role, knowing your role. And that sounds like a cliche, but in T20 cricket as a bowler, it's so important. So um, I think with someone like Sean Abbott on the bench, he's 
going to step into a death bowling role if he gets an opportunity and Billy Stanlake's kind of the backup to take the new ball and we saw it in Brisbane when he played that he could do that so yeah I just think everyone knows their role if they, if they get an opportunity or they're sitting on the bench they know what's needed of them when they take the field. And Adam Zampa is Australian cricket's new finisher so what's it mean to you to keep him at number 11? <laughs> yeah um, that's interesting because he actually bats ahead of me for South Australia so maybe Finchy rates me a bit higher. Um, yeah, look, I've heard enough about Zamps and his batting. I don't think he's picked up a bat since that, that game because he thinks he's hitting them too well um, still. So, yeah, less said about that, the better.